Hello everyone. It's the midpoint of the summer and hope you're all having a great rental season so far. While you catch your breath from managing your guests, your turnovers, or perhaps even some inquiries for next summer, I'm here to give a quick update on what we at We Need a Vacation are seeing. The first is we've been interviewed by many media stations and reporters about the vast availability of rentals. Our response to that, to that question has been that yes, it indeed, that due to the inventory up and the demand down from the pandemic, record-driven years is that bookings are down from 2022. But when compared to what we see prior to the pandemic, 2019, in this example, you'll see that those booking numbers are up. And that's what we've been saying for quite some time this year is that we're settled into this new normal. We're not going to hit those pandemic level booking numbers, but we're also going to be stronger from where we were pre-pandemic. Uh, vacationers clearly have more choices in rentals, so we'll have some work to do to fill our vac vacancies each year. But again, overall, we look to be in a stronger place in as a short term rental industry uh, for the Cape and Island rentals. For many of you, if you turn your attention to what does the rest of this summer look like? Many of you may have vacancies still, especially this last week of August. That is the outlier for the entire summer season. That's nothing new. If you compare this to even 2022, you see that. Around this time, end of July, we were 36% available. Right now, we're sitting at 39% available. It's a very common week to be uh, available. It's the last one to book. Many families, as you know, are back to school. And so your audience for who may be available to book a last week of August is a lot smaller. And so with that, you have to price that accordingly. You have to market that a little bit differently and try to get a vacationer in. Um, you are you are not alone. And so what I'd like to do is show you a, a way that you can do a quick comparison about where do you stand and how can you get a little additional exposure for, for your home for that last week of August. So how do you do a comparison to get, see where you stand versus your competition? What I'll show here is just a quick search. I'm going to search for the first week of August to show the availability for a basic search. This is a two bedroom search, mid Cape Cod, first week of August, and you'll see that there are 17 properties available. Perhaps a vacationer is not so specific in their geographic area, they'll expand it to the lower Cape as well. I'll add that and rerun the search and you'll see that the results are about 24, 25 properties, 25 properties are available. There's not many properties available during this first week of August. Uh, same would be true if I looked at the second week of August, but it's when you get into the last week of August that we were talking about is that where the competition really increases and you have to really take a close look at where you stand at what the same search is four to five times the number of properties are being returned. So in this case, I have 131 properties now. And so now this would be the key for you to take a look at if you have this week available is where do you reside regarding other properties? This one search I've run high to low. So figure out your price range. Where do you sit? Where's your property sit? And how many properties are there available at your price range and see what you can do. Perhaps it's time to drop it a little bit further to make it a little more appealing, but Definitely take a look to see how many properties are in that range. Keep in mind that the default sort order for most vacationers as they run is going to be the listing quality sort as well. So second look would be, is there anything you can do to increase your standing via the quality uh, sort order? And that you can scroll through the list to see where you reside and then go look at your listing quality audit to see how you can increase that, that score give yourself a little additional exposure. So lastly, while next summer may be the last thing on your mind right now, keep in mind that for a group of vacationers, it's not. They, they, there are some vacationers that, believe it or not, are searching for summer 2024 right now. They may be searching while they're on the Cape and Islands looking for their next rental, or they may have just left and they're talking about where to go next year. So because of that, we advise all of you to be looking at opening up your calendar, adding your pricing and gaining that additional exposure uh, for those that are early planners. You'll see that a quarter of our bookings do come before January 1st each year. And so you can really take advantage if you can find a, a way to open up your calendars, 
work with your returning guests and figure out a way to open those weeks that you know for sure are available. Sometimes repeat guests, you might want to give them a little extra time, understandable, but there are likely to be some weeks that you you know for sure can be opened up. And so I would not hesitate to open those up, add your pricing. You can always modify your pricing later on, uh, plus uh, you know up or down as needs be, but definitely open up those bookings, gain some additional ex or exposure and get yourself off to the next season off on a good start. So that's all for this update. If you have any questions, please do reach out to us. We're here to help and thanks for watching.